Are you sure this is the Coliseum? It's that way! Oh, guess we were a little off. Ah! Heartless! Thanks, but I'm fine. And you're supposed to be? I'm Sora. He's Donald, and that's Goofy. We came to see how Hercules is doing. You know Wonder Boy? Yeah, just we're heroes too. <laughs> you mean Junior heroes, Donald? <laughs> Looks like we have a friend in common. Name's Megara. My friends call me Meg. The Urban Assassin! Yeah. Run, run away! Okay. Where do they dig these freaks up? Jeez Louise. Oh, they're nothing but trouble, the whole lot of them. So, uh, what are you gonna do about Hercules? He's made mincemeat out of every fighter you sent at him. <laughs> Pretty soon, the underworld's gonna be standing room only. Say, why don't you just pick somebody already dead and save him the trouble? <laughs> that... That is good. And I know just the warrior. Well, I'm scared too, Donald. Hades, come out! By the by, uh, what's down there? Just the underworld's deepest dungeon. <laughs> this time I'm bringing out the mother of all bad guys. You don't say. Well, maybe I should go. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. Here's the deal I'm gonna offer you. I let you out of the slammer. No strings, you'll be free as a bird. And all for one little job. Fight Hercules in the Colosseum to the death! This is my story, and you're not part of it. Did you forget who you're talking to? I am the Lord of the Dead! <laughs> no wonder no one wants to die. You are fired! Oh, Hercules! You again? Fight! Get up! Something's wrong! I feel kind of funny. That's right! See, that's the thing. In the underworld, heroes are zeros when it comes to the territory. Go now! But I've got to talk to Hades! What was that? Can't fight him here. We have to go. Now! Count on it. Huh? Oh! Leaving so soon? <sighs> 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 
You're really good. Are you some kind of hero? No, I'm no hero. I'm Justin. Huh? Orin. Whoa? My name. I'm Sora. Dragon! Goofy! Whoa! It seems we were fated to meet. Maybe you need a guardian. Uh, guardian? Thanks, but no thanks. Hmm. I got Heartless all over the underworld now, so you can leave those pipsqueaks to me. <laughs> Look, pal, you just keep working on turning Hercules into a Heartless, then he'll be all mine. This is my underworld, you idiot! I'll handle this myself! Cerberus, go! What? Explosed! We just got a book! Come on! Open! Will that open it? Yeah, I think so. Hurry! Come on, Wonder Boy, play hooky for a day. For old time's sake. They came to see me. They came to see a hero. I can't let them down. <sighs> Don't worry, Meg. I'll be fine. What does a hero need rest for, huh? <laughs> See ya! Hey. Sora, don't let me down. Let me see if I've got this right. That brat's keyblade works on any lock. That's right! <laughs> have I ever told you about the Killer Coliseum we have right here in the underworld? It makes the one upstairs look like an Olympic kiddie pool. Then that's the place we're gonna put an end to Herc the Jerk's winning streak. Problem. Zeus locked it tight. Oh! <laughs> huh? Bingo! All we gotta do is swipe that key and then reopen the underdrome. Hate to tell you, but that key is kind of particular. It won't work for just anybody, and that kid ain't no pushover. <laughs> I think this calls for a woman's touch. Sora, Donald, Goofy, when do you get here? Hey, Herc. I'll be there. You want another adventure? Yeah, tracking down some friends, wiping out some heartless. Junior heroes always busy. You know it. Hey, champ. How you feeling? Better rest up for tomorrow's match. Nobody's gonna pay to see a worn-out hero. Gabish? Remember what I told you. 
Victory in the games comes down to two simple words. Eat, bathe, sleep. <laughs> huh? <laughs> hey, if it ain't the junior heroes. Looking good, Phil. Never better. How you guys been? Have you earned your true hero wings yet? Nope, you ain't got what it takes. What? So, what's up? What's wrong, your hero-ness? Feeling under the weather? You know, I thought staying in perfect shape was part of the hero job description. You know what I'm saying. Oh, right. Hades, we gotta talk. Ah. I came to share a bit of mildly interesting news. Seems your dear, sweet little nutmeg <laughs> went and got herself lost in the underworld. <laughs> You mean you kidnapped her? Well, maybe. <laughs> but why get caught up in the details? Uh, uh, uh. You can't leave now. Okay. You've got a very important match today against uh, the bloodthirsty Hydra. <laughs> I mean, if you don't stick around, who knows what kind of accidents might happen. Yeah, accidents you cause. Like I said, details. Who needs them? You're just a coward. Ah, well, can't all be heroes. Can you handle this? You got it! We're heroes! Junior heroes, Donald. You take care of the Hydra. We'll handle the rest. I'm counting on you. You gotta find Meg. Excuse me? Roxas? Oh, it's no use. Huh? What are you talking about? Let's see here. If the subject fails to respond, use aggression to liberate his true disposition. Right. Did they ever pick the wrong guy for this one? You're bizarre. Oh, he's gotta be the thief! Now that's just plain rude. Roxas, come back to us. Guy's a broken record. Hey, look! Let's go. Meg needs our help. Almost there. <laughs> nah, that's what I call a key. Cheat! 
Thanks for your help. Now have a nice day. Sora, behind you! <laughs> What's wrong? Can't fight in the underworld? Oh, boo hoo hoo! <laughs> Better think again. Charge! There's too many! Let's go! Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> Get Meg out of here. I'll meet you back at the Coliseum. What about you? I'm gonna show these guys what happens when they mess with a true hero. Now, wait a sec. Cool. Sora, I won't leave him. You'll be okay. Look, even Herc has his limits. He can't keep winning forever. Then we'll go back him up. Get Meg out of here! This place gives me the creeps. I'll deal with you nitwits next time! Oh! Could today possibly get any better? <laughs> this time, Wonder Breath is going down for good. This can't be. Jim! You're safe! I failed. It's not your fault. I left everyone unprotected. Hades was right. I'm just a, a washout. Ah, come on, champ! I didn't train you to think like that. Wonder Boy. Phil's right. This is no time to beat yourself up. I'm some hero. Yeah. Don't suppose you got room for one more. I let you down. I'm just... <sighs> no use. It's not your fault. Hey, even a god would be exhausted. She's right. Give yourself a chance to rest. There won't be any games for a while anyway. Don't worry about Wonder Boy here. I'll look after him. Sora. Donald. Goofy. I owe you big time. Hey, it's no big deal. Just let us know if Hades or the Heartless start acting up. We'll take care of it. Why, that's what heroes are for! When did you three make Hero? Let's save that for another time. We have to hit the road. Okay. Don't be strangers. Gorge, I hope you feel better soon, Hercules. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, take care, you guys. Stay a little longer next time. We got some serious training to catch up on. Well, time to go. Oh, I almost forgot. The Olympus Stone. And where is everyone else? Beats me. They must have had some other matters to deal with. Matters? You mean they have more important affairs to attend to than my return? Well, see, there's this Organization 13 that keeps getting in the way. Let those fools play their little game. But what about that run with the Keyblade? He's been a real pain, too. Oh, has he? Very well, then. I suppose you'd best tell me what's happened during my absence. Oh, hmm. Now I wonder where that old album could be. Queen Minnie! It's horrible! <laughs> This is your castle. Must be nice to be home, huh? Well? You know, something just don't feel quite right. Why? Did you happen to summon us? Yes. Where's the king? Excuse uh, uh, him. This is our friend Sora. <gasps> Sora! The king told me all about you in his letters. He said you're a very brave young man. So, do you know where he is? What your heart is doing in your castle? Oh my, so those are the heartless. Don't worry, we'll take care of them. I know I can count on you, Sora. Now there's something I'd like all of you to come and see. Would you please escort me to the audience chamber? What? <gasps> I forgot to warn everyone else in the castle about the danger. Must be sure they're hidden somewhere safe. Okay, we'll go tell them. Now, Castle! 
We just gotta split up, Donald. I'll make sure that everyone knows what's going on. No, Charlotte, you'll just get lost. Okay, then I'll stay with the Queen. Good. Alrighty then, see you later. Um, the audience chamber, right, ma'am? Yes, Sora. Let's be on our way. Just one moment. As soon as the trouble started, I made sure to seal this room. Now then, shall we? <gasps> Not here too! I got him. Come on, give me a break. The room below is called the Hall of the Cornerstone. Our castle has always been safe from worlds that are evil. Thanks to the Cornerstone of Light, which we keep down there. The Cornerstone of Light? This is the castle's cherished cornerstone. Oh, but look! The thorns, they must be the work of someone very evil. I wonder what this could mean. Huh? Magnificent! No way! Well, well, well. What have we here? If it isn't the wretched Keyblade Holder and his pitiful lackeys. Now you're gonna deal with me! All in good time. I promise you'll be able to partake of my vengeance, but you must be patient. Just what are you doing here, Maleficent? Ah, Queen Minnie. Radiant as always. I'm here on a property venture. I want this castle for my own. However, it's a bit too bright for what I have in mind. I suppose I'll just have to fill every room with my personal touch of darkness. You'd better stop right now if you know what's good for you! Ooh, how frightening! Very well, I'll stop. Just as soon as the castle belongs to me! <laughs> <laughs> what a hag. Nothing like this has ever happened before. I looked through all the records in the library, but I couldn't find a single clue. Oh! Huh? We should go ask somebody who knows lots of stuff that ain't in any book. Merlin the Russian! Yes, that's perfect. Merlin just might know something about this mess. Let's ask his advice. We saw him in Hollow Bastion, right? Yeah, let's go. Anybody home? Merlin! The castle's in danger. <laughs> what is all that racket? Oh, <laughs> I thought, oh, it's, it's you. It looks like you've uh, learned a bit since the last time I saw you. Really? <laughs> Wait a minute! Let's talk about the problem! It's Maleficent! She's back! Where? Inside the castle? Yup, and Heartless too! 
Oh dear. Magnifique remarque, c'est dans la haute tâche et alors la tisseur de la haute connaisse comme le cannibale de chuter le fond de votre tâche. Perhaps I'd better just see for myself. Mm hmm. Interesting. What's happening, Merlin? This is not good. In fact, I I'm afraid it's quite serious. <clears throat> What's that? My boy, that is a gateway to a special world. Someone in that world is responsible for what's going on in this castle. Of that, I'm certain. Oh boy! We knew we could count on you, Merwin. Then we should go get him. Wait a moment. The perpetrators must be stopped, of course, but there's something else to do first. Somewhere in that world, there should be another door that's identical to this one. I believe our enemies are utilizing that door. As long as it remains open, the castle will be in grave danger. Listen carefully, Sora. You must find that door, and when you do, lock it with your keyblade. Got it. You'll get down on us! And now, one more thing. Uh, you're heading into a very special world. While you're there, the nature of that world may tempt you to do something dark. Uh, you must resist that temptation at all costs. What do you mean? You'll know soon enough. I have faith in you, my lads. Hey, look! There's the cornerstone of light! What's going on? Everything's black and white. Deja vu? Really? Have you been here before? Hey, you! See any bad guys around here? Why, yeah, you ought to... Nah, I don't have time to waste on punks like you, so I guess I'll go easy on ya. Well, there's our villain. What's with you, squirts? You got some kind of bone to pick with me? More than one. Them fighting words. Huh? Not so fast. What? What you mugs beef with me anyway? Who? Who are you? You new around here? Cut the act. Whoa. You know, something doesn't seem quite right here. Are you sure you're Pete? Well, of course I'm Pete. I'm the captain of the steamboat, so stop bothering me, see? So hit the road. I gotta go find the little runt what stole my boat. Of course, maybe we made a mistake. I'm starting to think the same thing. He hasn't even called any heartless. Sorry we attack you like that, Captain Pete. Oh yeah? Well, if you're really sorry, then go find my steamboat. Yes, sir. Oh, my hickin' brack! Woo! <laughs> 
found one. Gee, he seems kind of different somehow. Come on, we've got to help him. You absolute idiot. You've managed to fail at everything. And what's more, you foolishly thought you could take my place while I was away. Well, as of now, you're finished. Mark my words, there'll be no place for you when our time comes. Useless imbecile. But, but, but I... Uh... Fire! Come on, he needs our help! Well, that takes care of that. Hey! Oh, for crying out loud. She didn't have to go and say that. Okay, I might have messed up every now and then, but I'm a lot more things than useless. Why, when I was starting out? Oh, I missed those good old days. What I would give to go back in time. What I would give. <laughs> huh? Hey, I think that's my... The town shrunk. Or do you think maybe we got bigger? Hey, look at the toy cannon. What's he saying? Hey, they're heartless. Man, that was weird. Well, look, Sora, over there! Fascinating. This appears to be a portal to the past. Yeah, it was the strangest thing! Stop gawking! And start thinking of a way we can use it to our advantage. Okay. Now, perhaps I could give you one more chance to redeem yourself. Oh, thank you, thank you! You can count on me! So what do I do? Patience, my dear. What have we here? Well, if it isn't the cornerstone of light. Hmm. Now we can take the castle from those fools, but we'll have to proceed with the utmost of care. What are they building? Ah! Look out! Thanks, Your Majesty. Now, let's get those heartless. How do you like that? Hey, 
Hey, look! Listen well. On the other side of this portal, they're about to begin construction on that wretched castle. But until then, their treasured cornerstone of light lies unguarded, with all of its power still contained. The cornerstone of light? Yes. That cursed sphere is the very thing that prevents us from entering the castle. Oh. You know what must be done? Uh... Go then. Time to prove your worth. And don't dare to fail me again! Don't fail her again. Let's see... That's it! I just gotta smash that cornerstone to smithereens! <laughs> uh, but first, I gotta go get my old boat back. It was Pete after all. Still, something doesn't seem right. Hmm. The Pete we met here had kind of an attitude, but he didn't seem like a bad guy. What? <laughs> now that castle's as good as ours! That's the Pete we know. Oh no! The cornerstone's gone! They're gonna fill the castle with darkness! We gotta hurry! Hey, hold it right there! No way, small fry! I finally found the pit squeak what stole my ski boat! Why? I'm not you! Right, me! No, no, it wasn't me! I'm just somebody who looks like me! Oh, oh. which is it? <sighs> Wait! Shut up! Your future's on the line, Valley, so back off and give me the boat! What promise, Tom? After him! Yes! You'll pay for this? I'm still going to Donald, we'll come back for it later. Pete's heading for the doorway! <laughs> huh, you're still wet behind the ears. Then try us. Hey! It serves you right. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, I know. Would somebody tell me what's been going on here? Who was that creep anyways? Hello? That creep was you from future. Sora, that's a secret. Secret? What kind of secret? Oh, never mind. Sorry I put you guys through all that trouble. <laughs> and to show you my appreciation, I'll let you pilot my steamboat. Best little craft on the river. My deck and Mickey's late anyways.
Well, I'll bet you the castle's safe and mail. Guess we should head back. Well, as long as we're here, Donald. Huh? Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. George, the lads have accomplished their mission. Hooray! Let's have an acorn feast to celebrate! <laughs> Welcome back. Because of your bravery, the castle is safe and protected again. Thank you so much for all you've done. Good, Good work, work, you guys! guys. Now, boys, I, I hope you didn't do anything reckless while you were there. Daisy! <laughs> 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 back! Who? Daisy is Donald's very special sweetheart. Really? <laughs> Donald, you forgot about our date again. You'd better have a good excuse this time. But Daisy, I... I know it's an important mission, but you could at least check in every once in a while. Sure. <laughs> Donald? Just be a minute. Going somewhere? I trust that. Donald! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! Daisy, we need Donald for just a little longer. How much longer? Um, well... I'll be back soon, Daisy. Don't you worry, Queen Minnie. We'll return. Please tell the king that we're still looking for him. I will. See you soon! Think wisely. This place is kind of different. Something's up. Organization 13? On the hot list. Only one way to find out. Aztec treasury! Aye, and thanks to the curse put on it, we are neither among the living nor the dead. Really? Cause you look like regular pirates to me. Ah. <sighs> But in the moonlight... Whoa! 
Now I get what you were saying. Hmm. Well, if you see two doofuses and a brat holding a keyblade, steer clear. They got a kind of magic that don't belong in this world, see? And nobody knows what it'll do to you. Especially when the moon's showing what you really are. A match for Barbosa, you say? Hey! See there? I knew it. <laughs> Those are the punks I was telling you about. Who are you calling punks? It's Sora, Donald, and Goofy to you, and don't you forget it! That we won't, and we'll engrave it on your tombstone, to be sure. Whoa, I like your style. Man, half of you stay here and indulge these cullies. The rest, bring me that medallion. Aye! Aw, oh, we only get to stomp on a few of you? Eh, <laughs> eh. It's no use. We can't beat them. I. What do you expect? You best be saying your prayers. Hey, watch out! They can see you. Stay away from their magic. What for? Weren't you listening to me before? Hey, Pete. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> Where are you taking me? Let me go. Elizabeth! Stop! What are they? It's the right ones! Watch out! We'll deal with them. Go! Take cover! Uh, we're too late! Huh? Those pirates kidnapped my swan and took her to their ship. Now they've sailed. And I'll never be able to find her. Then she's long gone. The Black Pearl is nigh uncatchable. Best find yourself another girl, mate. You! What are you doing aboard the Interceptor? She's off limits to civilians. Ah, fortunate that I'm going to commandeer her then. She'll make a fine pirate ship. A pirate? Captain. Jack Sparrow, if you please. Take me with you. Help me hunt down the Black Pearl and save Miss Swan. I got you out of that jail cell, Sparrow. Do this, and your debt's repaid. You'll have to win Fair Lady's Heart alone, mate. I see no profit in it for me. Come on, Captain. Are you sure you can sail her? All on your own? You've a point there. Thanks, Sparrow. Captain Sparrow. I'm Sora. This is Donald and Goofy. I'm Will Turner. That will be short for William, I imagine. No doubt name for your father, eh? Yes. Well then, Mr. Turner, you get us ready to make way. I have some effects to liberate. Aye, aye. But hurry! Naturally. Stella! You really want to be a pirate? Of course not. What do you make of this will? I don't know. We just met him. Uh, I think my luck's about to change. You can release me! You have your trinket. I'm of no further value to you. This is no trinket, Missy. This is cursed Aztec gold. One of 882 identical pieces they delivered in a stone chest to Cortez himself. I hardly believe in ghost stories anymore, Captain Barbosa. That's exactly what I thought. Buried on an island of dead, what cannot be found except for those who know where it is. Find it, we did. There be the chest, inside be the gold, and we took them all. We spent them and traded them and fritted them away on drink and food and pleasurable company. The more we gave them away, the more we came to realize the drink would not satisfy, and food turned to ash in our mouths. We are cursed men, Miss Turner. Compelled by greed we were, but now we are consumed by it. 
How very sad for you. <laughs> there is one way we can end our curse. All the scattered pieces of the Aztec gold must be gathered and restored to the stone chest. And the blood of every soul who touched a piece of the treasure must be repaid. Miss Turner, for ten years we've searched every league of these waters, every town and village, preying on sailors and settlers alike. 881 pieces we found, but despaired of ever finding the last. All those years, you've been safe in your bed, reading your pirate stories, dreaming of adventures in the high seas, weave into your torments worse than death itself. But now, thanks to ye, we have the final piece at last. When this medallion is restored to the chest, we'll be free to roam the seas as men. No longer will we be ghosts. And the blood that's to be repaid? That's why there's no sense to be killing you. Yet. <gasps> you see, the moonlight shows us for what we really are. We're not among the living. And so we cannot die. But neither are we dead. I've suffered too long. You'd best start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. For you see, tonight, you're in one. <laughs> peace that went astray, we have returned, save for this. And now, the blood will be repaid to free us from this curse forever. Quick, they're after us! We'll hold them off. Give us a sign when the ship's ready to sail. Right. We'll light the signal fire. The signal! And now, the blood will be repaid to free us from this curse forever! No, not yet. We wait for the opportune moment. When it's of greatest profit to you? May I ask you something? Have I ever given you reason not to trust me? Stay here, and try not to do anything stupid. Begun by blood, by blood undone. You, mate, your father. Was your father William Turner? No. I don't understand. What's going on? Who brought this wench yeah. to us? She What's said her name was Turner. Come on. Why isn't it working? You need my blood. Get on Idiots. with it. Hurry. You there. The medallion! 
After them, you ingrates! Is it true? You gave Barbosa my name instead of yours. Why choose my name? I don't know. Elizabeth, where did you get that? It's yours. From that day we found you. Drifting at sea. After all this time, I thought I'd lost it. It was a gift from my father. He sent it to me. I'm sorry. Why did you take it? Because I was afraid that you were a pirate. That would have been awful. Of course. Don't you see? It wasn't your blood they needed. It was my father's blood. My blood. The blood. Of a pirate. How the blazes did you get off that island, Jack? When you sailed away in my ship and marooned me on that godforsaken spit of land with naught but a pistol and a single shot, you forgot one very important thing, mate. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. I won't be making that mistake again. Then what say you to putting the past behind us, untying these ropes, and letting me negotiate the return of your medallion, eh? What say you to that? Seeing as how the Black Pearl's mine now, Jack, letting you go doesn't seem to fall within my interest. Odd. I'm not actually concerned with your interest. Give me back the pearl! Arr. All right. Lock him in the brig. We're coming up on the interceptor. What do we do, Captain? What do you think, you idiot? Look! Right now! I wonder what Jack would do. I'm not sure. I suppose he'd run for it. Sounds good to me! Wow! Ah! wow! Ah! Will! Everyone hit the deck! We're just gonna have to fight! Come on! We beat the pirates! Well, did you know, see? <gasps> Jack! <laughs> now then. I'll be having back that medallion. Unless it's more important than their lives. Barbosa! She goes free! Go ahead, boy, shoot! We can't die. You can't. <sighs> but I can. My name is Will Turner. My father was bootstrap Bill Turner. His blood runs in my veins. I? On my word, do as I say, or I'll pull this trigger and be lost at Davy Jones' locker. Name your terms, Mr. Turner. Release Elizabeth, and Sora, and Donald, and Goofy too. Anything else? Leave, now. Agreed. Leave we shall. But the heartless stay. <laughs> no fair. All clear. That's the second time I've had to watch that man sail away with my ship, but I'll be having her back soon enough. Now, let's be joined us again. The last of the Aztec treasure has been returned. 
And now, the blood will be repaid to free us from this curse forever. This time for sure. Yeah! Ahoy, treasure mateys. Not possible. Well, probably. We are alive and we're pirates. Captain Jack Sparrow. Sora. Captain Jack. Goofy, too. So you want to play pirate? Best save the play acting for the nursery. After them! No more play acting now. Thank you, Sora. Oh, where's Jack? Jack! Get him! Huh? Jack! You're a fool, Jack Sparrow. Jack. Show yourself, Pete! The tide has changed! See? I told you you'd be needing old Pete! This ain't over! Right. Care to surrender, Barbosa? Well, enough of this then. What say you we call it a draw? Jack, how many times do I have to tell you? <laughs> Laugh while you can, Barbosa. I feel cold. What now, Jack? Whatever I want, now that the pearl is mine again. That she is. Thank you, Jack. I didn't want you hitting me again, mate. Hey, Jack. Good luck. I remember to be good! I'm off. Good for them. Uh huh. Hey, Sora, how come your face is all red? What? It is not red. Ah, uh, I know who you're thinking about.
You know, for a minute there, I was afraid we were gonna lose Donald to the curse of the treasure. Yup, me too. What? <laughs> I wonder how Aladdin and Jasmine are doing. Hey, maybe Riku's with them. Yeah, I am the king. Keep dreaming, you two. Come on, Donald, you were thinking the same thing. No, I wasn't. Uh-oh, it's a, um, it's a Yago. Wait, you got me all wrong! Yeah, yeah, you're all right. No, I mean it's not the old me. I turned over a new feather. I'm legit. No more scams. Promise. That that's your new scam. You gotta believe me. Sure, let's go. I was stuck inside that lamp with your father, remember? When I finally escaped, then some things happened. Then. So, free as a bird, huh? Have fun. Gorge fillers, he looks pretty sad. To a live man, Jasmine. Could you guys maybe put in a good word for me? Sure. We can do that, can't we? Watch out! Uh, where are they all coming from? Ah! This way! Jasmine! Sora, Donald, Goofy! La Majesty! <laughs> I never had the chance to thank you for before. You helped Aladdin defeat that awful Jafar and save Agrabah. All in a day's work. But, uh, it looks like the Heartless are up to no good again. Is there any way we can help you out? I think we're all right for now. And you always got Aladdin. Oh, he hasn't been himself lately. Huh? Is it because of the Heartless? I'm not sure. Usually, he's the same cheerful Aladdin, but sometimes, he just seems sad. Mm. He leaves the palace and goes off by himself all the time. I've asked him about it, but he says nothing's wrong. He's gone again today. What if he doesn't come back this time? Hey, maybe he's got <gasps> a secret girlfriend. I know, I'll go find out who she is. <gasps> Iago, quick, Sora. Oh. Catch him! And I'll warn the guards and everyone in the palace. That's the thing. Iago's not... <sighs> nice move. Maybe it's something you said. <sighs> Gee, maybe we should go talk to Aladdin. He's gotta be somewhere in town, right? Good idea. I wonder what he's been doing. Sora, come back here! If you can't control that furball, put a leash on him. Look, I'm sorry. You should be ashamed of yourself, Abu. Uh, no hard feelings? Abu? <laughs> hey, 
guys. Uh, sorry about earlier. I was kind of in a hurry. What happened? You know Abu. He couldn't keep his paws off that lamp. <laughs> no talking your way out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> This is it! Wow. Yeah. There, that one should do it. Sure looks valuable. Great. Now let's go get that lamp. <laughs> we gotta keep Jafar bottled up, or he's gonna destroy Agrabah. Snap! Hey! <laughs> snap out of it, Donald! Hello? Stop your whining and hand it over! Oh no, I'm trading it for treasure! This lamp is going to bring me riches! Oh no, oh, you don't know! Oh, oh, oh. Get back here, you little... Thank you! It's mine! Lamp hog! Go away! Gotcha! No fair! <laughs> I win! Huh? Oh. Nice one, Iago! Way to go! Don't drop that cloak behind you! <laughs> nice try, bird brain. Just wait till Jafar's free. He's gonna make one beauty of a heartless. Princely little muffin, you! Cosmic travel can get so lonely without a friend! To think I left you forlorn and genie-less! Oh, the humanity! <laughs> genie? Hey, Al, have we been putting up weight? Oh, of course, what am I saying? You're living at the palace now! Aladdin! Jasmine! I can just picture it! Wait, tell me, am I being a pest? Just a big blue pest? Oh, who cares, Al? I'm just so glad to see you! Genie! Oops. I'll teach you to make a fool out of me! Oh! Oh! 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> Time for Plan B. I'm finishing you mugs off right now. with me for the last time. I'm gonna get you yet! Yeah! <laughs> All right! <laughs> hmm. must have secretly stolen it from the Cave of Wonders. I guess some things are just hard to resist. Sora, what is it? I think it's time for us to go. Will you be back? We will, I promise. This is Halloween Town, right? Well, it sure does look like Halloween. Wow! Yeah. Hey, it's Zero. How have you been, boy? What's that for? It's Quack! <laughs> 
Sora, Donald, and Goofy! Welcome back! And Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas? Don't you mean Happy Halloween? Of course! Halloween greetings from Jack Skellington, the Pumpkin King! Forgive me, I'm in a Christmas mood. You see, I'm running the show again this year, but I need Sandy Claus' blessing, so I'm off to Christmas Town. Sandy Claus? I think he means Santa Claus. Aren't these decorations wonderful? This year, Halloween Town's going to handle Christmas, too. But first, we have to visit Sally. She's working on something no self-respecting Santa Claus can do without. Come along, I'll show you. A Halloween Town Christmas. <laughs> Want to go check it out? <laughs> Come on, hurry! Hello, Doctor. Where's Sally? Can't you see that I'm in the middle of an experiment? Hey, this is way too heavy! Do and you'll be sorry. Now bring it over here. He Imbeciles! Now my experiment is ruined. <laughs> Sally, did you finish it? I want to show my good friends. I'm sorry, Jack. I... I need a little bit more time. Oh. Well, that's all right. Just as long as it's ready for Christmas. But, Jack... I'd best be off. I've got to go get Sandy Claus right away. Wonderful to see you again. Goodbye for now. Go get Santa Claus. Please, Sora. I'm afraid something terrible will happen if Jack goes through with this. You can try that again. Sora? Are those strange-looking fellows in the town square with you? Huh? What fellows? You know, the ones who wanted to spoil Halloween and Christmas? What are they called again? Heartless? They're definitely not with us. But Donald, Goofy, and I can get rid of them for you. And then we can go see Santa! But first, the Heartless! Now hear this, you, you fiends! Leave Halloween Town at once, by order of the mayor! Jack, where are you? I'm only an elected official. I can't handle this by myself. Jack! We're on it. What should we bring along next time? A bucket full of caterpillars! Or something even worse! Who's 
some old hag. Silence. A witch? Hmm. Perhaps you three could be of use to me. Come along, all of you. I'll show you the true meaning of mischief. All right, bodyguards. Christmas Town is this way. The doorway is in the woods just past the graveyard. Here it is, the door to Christmas Town. The spooks of Halloween can get so tiresome year after year. I wanted something new, and I found this. Beyond this door is a world filled with wonders, the likes of which you've never seen. At first, I couldn't believe my eyes. Everything was so fresh and exciting. Come on, just open it. In his workshop. Shall we? Anything bad happen to Christmas? That's where Santa Claus lives. <laughs> well, hello everyone. Did you come to see if you're on my nice list? Sir? Let's see. Sora. Here you are. Well, according to my list, Sora, seven years ago, you told everyone you did not believe in Santa Claus. Oh, that is unfortunate. Uh. How about Doo? Am I on your list too, by any chance? It's me, Jack. Jack Skellington? What sort of trouble did you bring this time? This time? It's a long story. We have to hide. Silence. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. That fool Jack brought Sora and the others with him. Now we can deal with all of them at once. What do you want us to do? Who's there? Busted! Oh! It's Lock, 
Chuck, and Barrel. Not those three. I assure you they're not with us. Well, whatever the case, they've been quite naughty. Catch them and bring them back here. They're going to get a lecture. Uh, Mr. Claus, I wanted to talk to you about Christmas first. It'll have to wait. I need to see how things are progressing in my workshop. Come on, Jack. Let's catch those little pranksters. Oh... Uh, all right, then. forward to destroying that ridiculous Christmas town. But now that Sora and those imbeciles are here, I think a change of plan is called for. Revenge before pleasure, after all. What kind of revenge? The magnificent malevolent kind, of course. That sounds really bad! Like, Oogie's kind of bad! And that's super duper bad! Oogie Boogie? That bag of incensed insects? Hmm. How intriguing. And where might I find him? Jack and his dumb, stupid friends destroyed him! Ah, yes. Now I remember. More intriguing still. I believe I'll bring your master back for you. I feel like a million bugs. <laughs> I really owe you one for this, Maleficent. Indeed you do, Oogie. Do you remember Sora, Donald, and Goofy? Do I remember them? Ha! You're too much. I'll never forget what they did to me. Uh, what was it they did to me? Squashed you like a bug! That sounds bad. And Jack helped! Even worse! They creamed ya! That's right. That's right! That's one thing I won't be forgetting anytime soon. It's the last thing I remember. And it's the only thing I'll remember until I teach those clowns not to mess with Mr. Oogie Boogie! Yes, that's right. That's the spirit. And I have the perfect plan already in mind. Have you ever heard of Christmas Town? Mr. Oogie! Wake up! Wake up! We want to see how bad you are! <sighs> it seems he needs more time to recover. You three, stay here and keep Sora and the others occupied. But do not fail me. There they are. Stop them! Tie them down! Get them! Confounded, and now I've lost my way. is utter foolishness. I should be getting ready for Christmas. Is that you, Mr. <gasps> Santa Claus? Yes, but please call me Santa Claus. Of course. Mr. Santa Claus, I was hoping I'd find you here. You see, it's very important that you go back to Christmas Town. I'm afraid something terrible is going to happen if you don't. Well, I am behind on my preparations. All right. Tell Jack I'll be waiting for him at home. He had something to say to me about Christmas. But that's just it. Please, go home and lock the door. And if Jack knocks, don't open it.
there. The large one in red. All I gotta do is kidnap him? That's right. Lock him up at once. Then begin destroying Christmas Town. That's sure to make Sora and the other fools come running. And then they're all mine! Yes. And in the meantime, I'll turn Santa Claus into Santa Heartless. <laughs> <laughs> Are we done? Who's there? <gasps> <laughs> I've done a little redecorating. Wait, something's not quite right. I know what it is. We just need a little more of that boogie flair. I do hope our jolly old friend is looking forward to becoming a heartless. <laughs> Clumsy oaf! Are you still here? Why don't you oogie on back where you came from? You're crapping my style! Have you already forgotten who brought you back, you insolent bag of bugs? Hmm. Sorry. Can't remember a thing. Very well, you ingrate. You'll rue the day you spurned my help! <laughs> Dad, check this house. <laughs> Jack Skellington! A oh, hoogie! <laughs> you and I have a score to settle, Jack. Same goes for your little sidekicks. What are you planning to do with Sandy Claus? Who? Sandy Claus? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and why is this roly-poly red guy here? Time to go, Grandpa! <laughs> 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 Mr. Santa Claus! Why you... Christmas is safe again.
Perfect. I'd better get down to business. Yup, you ought to stick to Halloween and spooky stuff. Jack. Here, it's done. Wonderful! Why, I love it. Thank you, Sally. Jack, do you really have to do this? But I make a splendid Santa Claus. Uh, listen here, Jack Skellington. You saved me in Christmas as well, and for that I'm very grateful. But please promise you won't cause any more trouble. And about that suit. Don't even think about taking over from me again. I just thought you could use a little help this year, Mr. Claus. You must be exhausted from all the preparations. And I wouldn't mind a second chance to get this Christmas thing right. <sighs> yes, being Santa Claus can be tiring. But let me tell you something, Jack. Seeing the happy faces of little children when they discover the presents I've brought them makes it all worthwhile, year after year after year. And you, Jack, you love to make them gasp and see them shiver with fright. What if someone tried to take all of that away from you? We both have very important jobs to do, Jack. Mine is to take care of Christmas, and yours is to take care of Halloween. So we each have to do the very best we can. After all, you're the face of Halloween, Mr. Jack Skellington. The Pumpkin King, the Knight of Nightmares. And even though you're fascinated with Christmas, Jack, Halloween is your true specialty. Don't you see? Children rely on both of us to do our jobs. Halloween needs your attention, and I know Christmas needs mine. Urgently. You're right. I am the master of terror. And if Halloween has become too routine, all I have to do is think of something new that'll really make them scream. Jack! Oh, Jack! I've been looking for you everywhere. We must go over the plans for next Halloween. I can't do a thing without your approval. So true. Good luck, Jack Skellington. Well, there he goes. Yes, and I've got lots of names to check and preparations to finish. Ooh. Oh! Jack, this is no time for joking. What's this? Perhaps a bit too festive for our Halloween needs. We better get going. Before you do, Sora, I believe there's a friend of yours who, if I recall correctly, was the one who told you there's no such thing as Santa Claus? Oh yeah. He did say that. Be sure to give him my very best wishes. I will, but... Do you know where I can find Riku? No, but don't give up. Remember, if you believe in Riku, you will find him. Just as you found me. Right.
Hey, check us out. <laughs> this place is kind of creepy, though. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Heartless? Oh, I don't know, Sora. Oh, I get the feeling they might live here. Don't mind us. Just passing through a river being in trouble. Yeah, that's right. Don't be silly. We love you to stick around for lunch. Um, we didn't bring anything to eat. <laughs> that's not gonna be a problem. Gorge, Sora. I think we're the lunch. <laughs> Whoa! Going somewhere? Man, that scar's got the worst timing. Just let him roar. Eh, we better go see what he wants. Sounds like he's grumpy enough already. Ugh, fine. I don't know what that was about, but I'm glad it's over. <laughs> Everything's harder on four legs. Wanna stop practicing? Well, I found a trick to it. Here, let me show you. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Huh, what? What do we do? Stay back! Definitely heartless. Thank you. You really saved me. We're just glad you're okay. Did you see any other heartless around here? Heartless? Is that what they're called? I'm not sure if there are any others. I don't usually hunt outside the Pride Lands. Pride Lands? Hey, do you know if a guy named Riku is there? Or some bad guys in black hoods? Or maybe this really big bully named Pete? <sighs> oh well, we might as well go take a look anyway. Wait, the Pride Lands are dangerous. Scar and the Hyenas have made things unbearable for everyone. There's no food left. They've driven off the prey. We're about to starve. We can handle a little danger. You just saw us beat those Heartless, didn't you? I guess you're right. You could be just what the Kingdom needs. Maybe you can help us. You mean take on this Scar guy and all those hyenas? Scar? He took over when our last king, Mufasa, died. So you're saying this guy is your king? You want us to take down your king? Wait just a minute. We can't just go around knocking kings off their thrones. Then again, if they see that I'm stronger than their king, maybe they'll ask me to be their next king. Sora? <laughs> I'd have to refuse, of course. Still, I'd like to see the Pride Lands, so you guys don't mind lending them a paw, do you? She's gonna go on ahead and tell the other lionesses. We're supposed to meet her at a place called Pride Rock. Him. Uh, what? What is it? I told Rafiki you might be able to help us force Scar and the Hyenas out of the Pride Lands. 
but he says it won't work. You see, whoever saves the Pride Lands will be our next king, and he has to have the right qualities. Meaning? Well, I think she means you're not cut out for the job, Sora. <sighs> I'm sorry you came all this way. Hey, no, it's okay. You better go before Scar finds out you're here. I'm really sorry. Hey, a snack! Snack? Nah. Mm -mm. We got us a three cross <laughs> meal. <laughs> Look at that, here comes Scar, the king. <laughs> And Pete! some hunting to do. The herds have moved on, Scar. We can't hunt in a land with no prey. No prey? Then what do you call this? We're not prey. Oh, nice and fresh, too. Well, they're all yours, Scar. <laughs> oh! Why the long face, Simba? You gotta lighten up and live a little. Yeah, yeah. What were you thinking about? Let me guess. The past, right? Mm. Hakuna, Hakuna Matata! Matata. Would you look how he's grown, Pumba? Why, when I rescued the little guy, he was only this big. gonna make it I guess Rafiki was right what never mind it's not important here I'll show you how you can do it When Simba's father, King Mufasa, died, 
We were told that Simba died alongside him. Who told you that? Scar. It is time. It must be Simba. Sora, hurry! Wait up. It's me, Sora. Donald and Goofy are here too. Sora, Donald, Goofy. Ah! <laughs> what happened to you? Timon! Pumbaa! Something must have happened in the jungle. I have to go help my friends. Okay, we'll back you up. <laughs> Simba! Wait! It's Nala! Don't you recognize her? Nala? It's me, Simba! Simba! You are alive! Hey, what's going on here? Don't worry. They're all friends of mine. So that means nobody's planning to eat anybody else for lunch, right? Are you sure they don't want to eat me? Like I'm some kind of pig? We won't, but you are a pig, right? Call me Mr. Pig! <laughs> <laughs> Could you guys excuse us for a few minutes? Why am I not surprised? Simba, you've got to come back to Pride Rock. I thought Sora might be able to help, but you're the only one who can save us from Scar. I can't go back. Why? Hakuna Matata. It's something I learned out here. Sometimes bad things happen, and there's nothing you can do about it. Simba? Hakuna? Matata! Hakuna? Matata! He's not the Simba I remember. Something about Hakuna Matata. My father's dead. And it's because of me. It's my fault. I can't go back. It won't change anything. Look at the stars. The great kings of the past look down on us from those stars. So whenever you feel alone, just remember that those kings will always be there to guide you 
and so will I. Father, are you there? Simba, you have forgotten who you are. You must take your place in the circle of life. How can I go back? I'm not who I used to be. Remember who you are. You can all come out now. I'm going back to face my past. I could use your help. He really is a king. Wait a minute, we're gonna fight your uncle for this? Yes, Timon. This is my home. Simba, you're alive. This kingdom doesn't belong to you. Simba's the rightful king. The choice is yours, Scar. Either step down or fight. Must this all end in violence? I'd hate to be responsible for the death of a family member, Simba. I've put the past behind me. But what about your faithful subjects, have they? Simba, what's he talking about? Go on, tell them who's responsible for Mufasa's death. I am. <gasps> he admits it, murderer. If it weren't for you, Mufasa would still be alive. Do you deny it? No, but it was an accident. You're in trouble again, but this time, Daddy isn't here to save you. And now, everyone knows why. <laughs> Now, this looks familiar. I think I've seen this before. Oh, yes. I remember. This is just the way your father looked before he died. And here's my little secret. I killed Mufasa. Murderer! Tell them the truth! All right, all right. I did it. Louder! I killed Mufasa! <laughs> Simba, you get Scar. We'll handle these guys. Coming through! Where's Simba? He went up there. This is his fight, Donald.
You're okay. Oh, that was just a sneak preview. Cause this ain't over. Oh, not by a long shot. Anger and jealousy turned the King of Pride Rock into a heartless. Oh, your kingdom's gonna rise again. But this time, as the Pride Lands of Darkness. That's what you think. What's with the light show? We have to say goodbye for a little while. I'll go tell Simba! Oh, he's probably busy. Just tell him we'll be back soon. Oh, that's right. He's king now. He's gonna be so busy, he'll probably forget about his two best buddies. Well, you always got Hakuna Matata, right? Guess so. What do you mean, guess so? And what if he forgets to tell the carnivores who we are? For one look at you, and you're a pig roast! That's Mr. Pig Roast. Same thing! And I'm not sticking around to be anybody's pork dinner! Pumba! You can never forget your true buddies. I wonder what's up. Come on! Uh, oh, oh, uh, well now, <clears throat> took your time, did you? Oh, was it you who summoned us, Merlin? Yes, yes. Uh, but it seems I used too much power in doing so, and those infernal heartless... Oh. So, what's up? Well, I, I happen to stumble across this in the Zero District. Pooh's storybook! That's right! I know you're a good friend of Winnie the Pooh, Sora. That's why I summoned you. And when I did, I was attacked by the Heartless. Of course, I fought back with some rather powerful magic, but... Then I began to fear the book would be damaged, so I... I uh, oh, now, just a moment. Uh, Leon and the others need to hear this, too. I, I, I'd better go find them. Be back in a jiffy. I wonder how Pooh's doing. Want to find out? Yeah. Cover for me, okay?
I wonder if Pooh's home. Hey, Pooh Bear, how you doing? Finding enough honey lately? Oh, yes. In fact, I was just about to do my stoutness exercises. Would you like to join me, Sora? Sure, I'm game. Huh? Think it's okay? Gorge, maybe you better go back and make sure Pooh's all right. But what about Bowen? Well, I guess we could explain. Great. I'm so glad you're okay, Pooh. And I'm glad you came to visit. But you see, I was just about to begin my stoutness exercises. Perhaps we could visit a bit later. Somebody I don't know. Oh, sure. So, how's Piglet these days? I don't think I know anyone by that name. Now where was I? Oh yes, my stoutness exercises. Pooh? Hey, Pooh. Something very weird is happening here. Maybe I better go back and ask Merlin about this. What's wrong, Sonny? Oh, I was just thinking and, and wondering. You should be skedaddling out of here. Why? Why? Because it's Wednesday, of course. Wednesday? Oh, well then, happy Wednesday. Now, I think I shall wish everyone a happy Wednesday. No bother. Let's see now, who is everyone? Out! Wonder if Pooh's here. Oh, help! Help! Somebody save me! Piglet! Sora! Help! Please! Hold on, little guy! Jump down, Piglet! I'll catch you! Oh, did a deer! You can do it, Piglet! You just have to be brave! Sora! Uh, Alright, Sora! 
Out to dry! Oh, that was rather frightening. I do hope you're all right, Piglet. Oh, Boo, you remembered my name? You really, truly remembered? Of course, Piglet. But today, I think I shall call you my friend Piglet, who is very brave. Me? Very brave? No, but it's easy to be brave when I have a wonderful friend like you, Pooh Bear. I'm happy for you guys. Oh, and thank you for rescuing my friend Piglet, somebody I don't know. Oh, uh, sure, don't mention it. Okay? Gosh, that's too bad, Eeyore. After all that work. No matter. Most likely would have fallen down anyway. Well, I'll help you fix your house, Eeyore. Oh, hello there, Piglet. Thanks for offering. Wouldn't want to spoil your fun day, though. Well, hello, Piglet. And hello, somebody I don't know. Pooh, this is Eeyore. You know Eeyore, don't you? Um, I do? What could have happened to him? Oh, I have an idea. Maybe Pooh's tummy is so rumbly that it's making him forget. If we bring him some honey, he's sure to remember. Well, uh, I guess it's worth a try. Might work, but probably not. First, we gotta find some honey. If honey's what you're looking for, I know just the place. Follow me. Splendid, just splendid. This is the place I told you about. Wow, look at that. How yummy for my tummy. But doesn't that honey belong to someone? There now, Pooh. Have just as much as you'd like. Why, thank you. Pardon me, kind somebody, but do you know where I might find another smackerel or two of honey? Oh. Uh. My tummy seems to be telling me there's some honey right in there. Mona, I'm stuck. Ah, uh, he still doesn't remember. What in the world has gotten into Pooh Bear? Whatever it is, we better help him. Oh yes, and quickly too. Oh, stuff and fluff. One, two, three!
You're okay now, Pooh. Well, I wouldn't be so sure of that if I were you. Why, just, just look at him. He doesn't even remember who I am. <gasps> Perhaps it's all this blustery wind, or, or maybe he actually needs more honey. Or he's, he's sleepwalking and, and dreaming. Well, if I am dreaming, which I suppose I could be, I hope that I get to the part where you invite me to lunch again very soon, Rabbit. That's right, you're always stopping by for lunch. <gasps> Wait, Pooh, you called me Rabbit. Well, of course, Rabbit. What about Eeyore? And do, do you remember Eeyore too, Pooh? Oh, hello there, Eeyore. It's ever so nice to see you today. Thanks for noticing me, Pooh Bear. And hello to you too, somebody I don't know. <sighs> well, at least you remember Rabbit and Eeyore now. Sora? Yes. Hello there, somebody I don't know. Eeyore told me Pooh wasn't quite himself. I thought this might be just what the poor dear needed. Yeah. I hope it'll make Pooh better. If tickers are wonderful things, the top of the minute of rubber, the butt of the minute of things. A present for me? <laughs> Why, presents are what Tiggers like best, and it's not even my birthday. <laughs> but but Tigger, that's not for you. Wait, Tigger! Oh dear. Come on, let's go after him. <laughs> I bet you remember me now, don't you, Buddy Bear? Well, I remember that bouncing always makes me hungry. All that bouncing and he still doesn't remember me. Well, then I guess bouncing's not the answer. It makes the Tigger almost never want to bounce again. <laughs> oh, please be careful with that. Oh, sorry, little piglet. But Pooh not remembering me has me confused. I don't even feel like bouncing. No, oh, but Tigger, I always thought that bouncing was what Tiggers did best. Pooh boy, <gasps> you remember me. You do remember your old buddy Tigger after all. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Know who that is? Oh well, perhaps I'll remember tomorrow. There you are. Hey, we looked everywhere for you. I was looking for a very dear friend that I remember I made a very important promise to. So, did you find him? No, I looked and looked, but he doesn't seem to be anywhere. Oh, Pooh Boy, so uh, there you are. But Tigger, did you have to bounce me so bouncily? Gosh, I thought a Jaguar had gotten you. Oh dear. I hadn't thought of that. I do hope a Jaguar hasn't gone and gobbled up my friend. 
Now try to remember, Pooh. Isn't Sora the one you're looking for? Oh, the jaguar! No, it's just your tummy grumbling. You must be hungry. Come on, let's head home and see if we can find you some honey. I'd like that, Sora. Pooh! You, you finally remembered! Remembered what, Sora? Pooh. I like it ever so much when you're cheerful, Sora. Hmm. <laughs> Me too, Pooh. Oh, there's a bit of a rumbly in my tumbly. All right, then let's go home. So, what were you doing here? I was thinking, perhaps there's a way to make it so you won't go away. You mean, a way to make me stay? Yes. Would there be such a thing as a way to make it so you don't go away again? Pooh. Don't worry. I promise I'll come back and visit you now and then. Could you make it now and now instead? That seems a bit better to me. Sora, if I go looking for you, will I find you? I'll always be with you. Right here. You don't have to go anywhere. Just stay here, and you can see me anytime you want. You mean I just have to stay right here? Yep, that's all. Would you promise? Promise. I promise too! And so do Rue and I. We sure do. You're welcome to visit us anytime, Sora. Thanks. After all, I must tell you of my Uncle Albert's adventures at sea. Guess you'll be staying a while. <laughs> Goodbye, Sora. Thanks, Gopher. If you ever get lonely, just start bouncing and think of your pal, Tigger. I will, Tigger. You're leaving? Yes. I really have to go. Well, I won't be sad, because you'll always be right here, forever and ever. Right, Sora? And all of you are right here, too. See ya!